There's a little vial I keep in my drawer here, and uh, this is it. You know what it's doing now? It's triggering a trip down memory lane. A few milligrams of potassium cyanide, but this is no ordinary potassium cyanide because the carbon in this one is a carbon-13 isotope as opposed to the more common carbon-12. C13, it makes up only about 1% of all of the carbon in the universe, so it's, it's sort of rare. Well, why am I talking about this? Because back in 1970, when I was just starting my research in graduate school, we purchased a little vial of potassium cyanide with, labeled with carbon-13, at that time for $1,500. That was a great deal of money back then. Of course, it's still a great deal of money now. Why did we do that? Because my research involved synthesizing a molecule that had a carbon-13 in it. Well, why would one want to do that? Synthetic chemistry is all about building molecules, taking smaller molecules, doing chemical reactions to build a bigger one. But of course, it is always important to find out what the structure of these molecules are. So my research back then, uh, over 40 years ago, uh, was in a technique called NMR spectroscopy, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, which allows for the uh, determination of molecular structure. And we were specifically interested in glucose. This is a molecule of glucose. Glucose is central to life. Glucose is the stuff that gives our brains energy. It cruises through our bloodstream, get it from starch, etc. It's a critical molecule. Well, its structure has been well known uh, for well over uh, 100 years, but uh, it was important for us to find out some subtleties about the molecular structure, and that involved inserting a carbon-13 atom in one specific position in this molecule. Now that is not a small task. The reaction to do that basically involves taking a smaller molecule and using potassium cyanide, that's the carbon here, and in a chemical reaction, inserting that carbon into the molecule. And that, of course, will build up the molecule and give us a bigger molecule with the carbon-13 now in it. But it did allow us to have insight into some very important subtleties of, of molecular structure, not only of glucose, but of other molecules as well with our spectroscopy. I eventually did manage to get a PhD out of that. And here is my uh, PhD thesis. This is uh, a real relic these days. Believe it or not, it was written on a typewriter. And when you made a mistake, well, you took some liquid paper and you painted it out, and then you had to retype the whole page. This was long before anything with computers and, and uh, uh, dealing properly with, with you know, symbols on, that you can now do on, on, the, uh, on the computer so easily. But uh, back in those days, I, I think this was a, an important uh, little piece of, of work. So now you know why I have that little vial of, of cyanide sitting uh, in my desk because uh, it really launched my career in, in chemistry. Now, if you are kind of confused about the amount of cyanide that is in here, uh, no, it's not enough to do any kind of harm. Uh, it is, uh, well, I wouldn't say it, it wouldn't do any harm at all if you ingested it, but uh, I'm not planning on ingesting it. In any case, it would not be uh, enough to be uh, lethal. You would need uh, a little bit more than that, although not that much more. But it is uh, firmly sealed in here, and uh, it keeps some memories alive.